Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I will be recording using my laptop. Uh, I just can't be bothered bringing up my camera. Uh, what I will do this time is mainly talk and yeah, tell people about well, basically answer some questions and tell people about how things are around here. Um, yeah. So the first question I got. Uh, when I asked on Facebook was from Torkel. He was at, he asked me what uh, what's the lang language like? Do they all speak English? I'm assuming they don't. There's a is there a heavy language barrier there or what? Um yeah, no one speaks English around here. Um, maybe out of the probably out of everyone I've talked to. You know, being around stores and the gym and wherever, I maybe run into. Three to five people that could speak a little English. Next uh, question is from Ali asking, "Are you tall over there? And how many people do you see as you read this?" Well, I'm just as tall here as I am in Sweden, but everyone else is a lot shorter, <laughs> which feels weird, you know, walking through town or at a club or anything. You know, I just um, um taller than the majority of guys that I run into, which is uh, quite nice. I don't know. And how many people I see um, <clears throat> as I read this. Well, I got the window right in front of me, so I got about 12 or 15 people outside. There's a couple of stores and stuff Andre there. So. asked, have you seen huge gaps between the rich parts and the poor parts of Beijing yet? When I was there, I saw some shocking stuff in the less wealthy areas. Well, I've been living in the... Um, student, I don't know, district, if you could say that, in Beijing, um, and yeah, I mean, we went to one fancy area at one point, and I mean, it looked better, and there weren't a lot of junk thrown everywhere, uh, but other than that, you know, like, I've seen a surprisingly low amount of homeless people around here, um, I think in general, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just this area, but you need to just take care of the homeless in a way different way than they do in Europe. And um, it's not, you know, not a lot of beggars or anything like that. I've seen maybe like two or three since I got here. It was like three weeks ago. Um, it's almost four weeks now. Uh, yeah, so there is, um, you know, there is a small gap, but living in this district I don't think you see much of it uh, how does yeah. China react to you in everyday life oh Chinese sorry not China <laughs> um, I don't know well, as a foreigner you get you know stared at wherever you go if you're on the bus if you're on the train at a club bar restaurant whatever like first night here I had like three girls sitting there taking pictures of me with their, their cell phones you know they were only like five meters away but, you know, it's just people aren't very, they don't hide it. They just, they like to stare, they like to point, they like to like talk about you and write in your face. And, yeah, but most people are, you know, very nice and polite and stuff. Um, except when you're trying to get on a bus or a train, people lose their minds. It's just, yeah, everyone just goes down. Uh, Petra's question was, uh, what food do you survive on here? And, yeah, I, I didn't know what to expect, really, you know, being in such a big country, you'd expect, you know, uh, there to be lots of places to eat of, and all kinds of food, and there kind of is, but most of the food is pretty much the same, you know, you got Korean food, you got Chinese food, you got the, you know, American places, you know, Pizza Hut, and KFC, and McDonald's, and all that stuff, but, I mean... What I miss a lot is just the, maybe just like a decent normal salad bar or like a just place where you can eat normal food, something that's not been fried in, <laughs> yeah, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of unhealthy food here, um, and people don't seem to mind, so I don't know, who am I to complain? Uh, what I survive on, the food I eat. Um, generally, uh, my friend cooks some food, um, 
living here right now. So, and yeah, either we cook food, it's everything from like uh, boiled vegetables to uh, kung pao chicken or whatever. Um, yeah, they like to eat a lot of like seafood stuff and um, either that or we just order food like. Right now we just went and got some chicken noodles from a Korean place just outside. Um, yeah, Chinese food in general, I guess. Uh, ba -ba -ba -boom. And other things that, you know, I've talked to people about that I've been meaning to kind of bring up. Because, and the thing, like, these are things that actually shocked me a bit when I, uh, when I heard about them is just in general the first thing is like how Chinese people define a person being beautiful especially like girls and stuff and here it's basically the wider you are the better you are the more beautiful you are the more friends you'll have everything is about being pale and white nothing else matters you know like you read the magazines, you know, every single cream or whatever is just whitening, you know, you just want your face as white as possible, and you have to be super skinny, like, we're talking, <laughs> yo, <laughs> we're talking super, super skinny, like, you, they think, like, a normal girl should be around 38 kilos, you know, um, anything bigger than that, they just, oh, no, she's fat, or he's fat, you know, it's just, insane like I was like they called everyone fat it's just it's just funny but at the same time really weird um so yeah being really white and being really skinny that's the two things you need to be if you want to be beautiful in China other, other good things um people here aren't so stressed when they move around like simple things as taking the bus there's no schedule or no, no times to look up or anything. You just walk outside and just wait for the bus. Uh, you can show up, you know, one minute or 20 minutes. You can be like three buses right after each other and then it's like you can go 30 minutes without, without a single one. Um, might sound chaotic, but it actually works. Like, people are just, they just stand there and wait. Like, it's not like, imagine like winter in Sweden or Denmark when the trains are like five minutes late people are freaking out you know like I'm gonna sue them I'm gonna they're gonna pay my cab ride or whatever no one here gives a shit you know it's just you just stand there and wait and then you grab the bus whenever it comes um, and also like good thing about living in a big city like Beijing every day is a Saturday like you can work Saturday Sunday and then just go party your ass off Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, whenever you feel like it. There's always people out. There's always a place to go, you know, it's pretty nice. And getting around, and, you know, using taxi and train and all that stuff, it's just, and bus as well, super cheap, like, next to nothing. So it's really easy to get around. So, if you have any more questions or anything you want, to, um, just leave a comment down here or just send me a, a message or write to me on Facebook or whatever. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well so you can see my future videos when they pop up. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye -bye.